Good evening, Flask Enjoyers. I hope you're doing all right, because it's time to do a nice little conclusion in talking about the pirate collection, where it ended up at after we rolled into January time. So I'm sure where we last left off with the likes of this video here, I was, uh, I was a bit optimistic, I'm sure. So when was this actually uploaded? This was uploaded on the 21st of November. Oh, oh, oh. If, I, if only I knew what was about to happen. So it's been a good two months since then. And we've obviously gone through the likes of Christmas and post-Christmas. And unfortunately, both of them were fairly uh, disappointing. It wasn't absolutely awful, but it wasn't exactly super amazing. The very thing that we wanted. So let's just kind of remind ourselves over the course of what's happened with the likes of these videos. So if you go to go to my main YouTube channel, click playlists, you might see the likes of my helpful rust skin investing videos. All of these videos here will teach you something new. All right. They're not like super big, but in short, every single individual here will teach you something new that would be very helpful for you. All of these videos are for like the intermediate type of investors. You know, you know a decent amount about Ruskin investing, but now here's an extra little thing to be aware of. So as we scroll through this, over the past like six months, I was keeping track of the pirate collection because the very first thing that we realized with the likes of that is, well, hang on a minute. This is like a brand new budget blackout option. So I wanted to see how it all progressed. And, you know, initially it did very nicely. For a 99 cent batch of skins, they were very in demand. They sold a lot. And uh, we had to think about where will this potentially end up at? So we went from like part one, two, three. We had a part four here somewhere. Where is that? Part five? Okay, we're up to part five. But yeah, as it progressed throughout the year, we also made points about at the current times of the year, what happens to these skins. And obviously with the likes of the autumn fall seasonal dip, prices did go down a fair bit. And with the last video that we had, prices didn't improve a little bit but we we're more optimistic for January time post Christmas we thought loads more people would be playing the game and we'll be able to sell these skins for a much better price well uh, <laughs> if you've seen the state of me recently with my more recent videos you might realize things haven't exactly been super great you can look at that wonderful face right there in the thumbnail things haven't been super great so here is where we hop over to the likes of here and look at the state of the quantities. Look at the state of the prices, maybe. Actually, no, you can't because they're glitched. So as we hop over to SMM.app, I'm going to go type in Pirate Collection. Let's go get a good look at all the skins. And yeah, not all of them in the green, unfortunately, even though we're like two or three weeks into January, which should have been the absolute best time to sell skins. And unfortunately, no. So I'm going to talk about all of this. And we're going to kind of reach a conclusion for what's going to happen from here on now. All right. Okay. So throughout all the progress of this collection, of course, if you can remember, we started off with the primitive skins and then we rolled into the core pieces. I'm talking hoodie, pants, tier two, tier three armor, and all the other bits afterwards. As we saw every new core piece being accepted, we saw a lovely spike in demand, spike in price for the pre-existing skins. And we enjoyed that, didn't we? Now, they all sold an absurd price. No, uh, not absurd price, an absurd amount. They did like 50,000 plus sales each, which is fine. If the demand was strong enough for it, it would be welcome. And the wonderful thing about this was it was very cheap. Every single skin except the vest sold for 99 cents. Vest sold for $1.49. Not sure why that individually, but hey, it happened. So anyway, we looked at this and we said, guys, cool, isn't this wonderful? We got ourselves a very cheap budget blackout option. And with blackout always usually, be, usually being very expensive, what with it being a very in-demand collection, as you look at the likes of all the skins here, we thought, okay, yeah, Pirates probably got a decent future ahead of it. Blackout's very likely not going to budge with its prices. We could potentially make some very good money with Pirate Collection. But as time progressed and we went through the likes of the autumn fall seasonal dip, we noticed problems. We noticed prices going down. But we were aware, based on the time that it was, that was expected. And if we just held out for a little bit longer, things would improve. Things did improve, but it didn't reach a wonderful, lovely, absolutely beautiful, like, nirvana uh, state of making tons of profit. No, 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 no. Um, initially, with the likes of the end of December, loads of skins did get bought out uh, with the likes of what we saw over the past month. But things kind of just grinded to a halt. This year, there really wasn't that many people buying skins. Now, certain notable collections such as Whiteout and Forest Raiders, those skins reached all-time new, like new all-time high prices. That was amazing for them. But for pretty much every other skin, it, like things went up, and then it stopped, and then it started going down again. <laughs> so 
There was another thing that happened with the likes of the uh, the pirate collection. There happened to be another budget blackout collection that came out. Now, the funny thing is, this was actually more expensive. So I'm now talking about the likes of the Legacy Kevlar set. Legacy Kevlar came out. Each piece costs $2.49. Well, those cost $2 each, but the point I'm trying to get across is this was a brand new set, has a very pay-to-win, like, transparent see-free mesh face mask there. This was all the rage. Loads of people was lo were loving this. Loads of people jumped onto it. This was loved, appreciated, and it had a ridiculous amount of sales as well. What happened, though, was uh, when this came out, pretty much loads of people seemed to have panicked with their uh, pirate collection. So this came out towards the very end of December, the kilt, and surprise, surprise, every person decided to unload their pirate kilts on the Steam market. But why? I don't know. Pirate kilt was the cheapest available budget blackout option, but when this new $2.49 black kilt came out, suddenly everybody felt the need to unload their stock. Why? <laughs> so I haven't actually managed to figure that out. So as you can see here, they are not selling for 99 cents anymore or above. They are now selling for around 80 cents each. And with all the big fat quantities that we see here, well, unfortunately, it's not going to go anywhere. Other people exist and it's awful because I, I don't know what they're trying to achieve, but that's not doing anyone any favors, especially themselves. So if I look at the sales history, yeah, that's the state of that. So things were looking pretty sweet for a while and then it wasn't. So right here, this is saying for like a like a dollar ten, a dollar fifteen. That's nice, and then it just and, and it wasn't, and then it wasn't. What happened? I don't know. Now, could it be a combination of there was a ton of people that owned these skins, which we know about because a ton of them got bought, and everybody felt the need to sell. Like, did one individual person decide? Oh yes, yeah, so I'm going to unload five hundred stock at once. Because, you know, people tend to be pretty stupid like that. Probably. But the fact that when that happened, we then saw the likes of this releasing, I can't help but feel like, you know, $2.49, eh, you know, it's kind of achievable. You know, sell my pirate kilt, I'll go grab that. It's only an extra dollar fifty. Maybe people preferred this one. I'm not going to question it that much. But what I will say is the overreaction to this has been absurd 131, 27, 14, 18, 12, 25, 46, 21, 107, 22, 41. Yeah, why? <laughs> why? I don't know. I, I, it surprises me. It really does. But anyway, is this doomed? No, I wouldn't sit here and say this pirate kill is doomed. Overall, with all the pirate skins, this is still part of, or the options to be, the cheapest possible blackout option. Now, you could go cheaper. If you want to go really budget, you could buy a black hoodie. But in terms of are there any useful pants, honestly, you're going to have to buy the pirate pantalones. And I'm not surprised to see pirate pantalones is selling for like $1.10, $1.15, whilst the hoodie is selling for a lot cheaper. Uh, we can see it better here, I believe. So uh, if you go over to here, zoom out a bit, you'd notice that the pants are in a positive, the hoodie is not. So if you were to go super budget, black hoodie, pirate pantalones, pirate kilt, you might want to pick out some armor. I mean, you could technically still use the pirate collection armor because, again, it's not that expensive. So, yeah, this is still the go-to budget option if you wanted to wear some reasonably black um, clothing and armor. And it is black. It's just got some white paint here and there. So I, I, I can't think it's going to be doomed. I, I can't sit there and assume it. But, uh, yeah, Benji, we'll leave that for now. I can see that there is something going on there. I'll worry about that in a bit, okay? I'll worry about that in a bit. I'll put that over here. But uh, with what we have here, will this always be like this? I don't think so. But will it ever improve? Well, unfortunately, with the likes of this uh, post-Christmas, it's not purely at fault, but I can't help but feel like from here and now, it will be going down in price a fair bit with the likes of spring just rolling in. But summertime? Do you remember how well some of these skins performed during summertime? I hope it happens again, but... With this post-Christmas being the first, well, post-Christmas, where we've had, like, not that much traction in terms of sales and not that much, like, stupid, insane prices for skins, I kind of worry about the summer. And I should point out, the player counts that we got were very good. We reached our 190,000 peak player count for January Force Wipe. We've had very good average player counts. But the prices just didn't really go anywhere demand for paying for skins and whatnot simply wasn't there unfortunately so i don't fully know how i'm going to approach all of this to be honest
It is awkward. But the likes of this appearing, it definitely didn't help us out. <laughs> no, it did not. So overall, if you were to look at all of these skins, yes, they do have very high quantities. And yes, if you saw the listings, it wouldn't surprise me if right now you see like 50 fat stacks of quantity being listed. At, yeah, there you go. Wow. That's unfortunate. So is this always going to exist? I don't think so. I think eventually that will like disappear. But mainly due to the fact that they probably remove it. But yeah, other people exist and other people do that and prices just don't seem to go anywhere. Why on earth would you do that? I don't know. As I've always said, when there is momentum, ride the wave of momentum. Don't unload all of your stock at once and cause problems. That can't go up in price now, can it? You have to see 81 sales happen for that to move. How many sales has this had in the past 24 hours? 135. I guarantee you it's more a case of people probably unloading to the buy orders. That's where the sales are actually happening. So, yes, only list like batches of three or batches of five. I've done a pretty good job of that. Is this a good account to showcase this? I think it is. Yep, we could probably showcase this. So, lot sold, upload 100. Yeah, if you look at all of this, you'll notice that all my skins here, over the course of like a good few days, I listed all of these in batches of like three to five. And guess what? I sold them all perfectly fine, and the prices never suffered. Why? Because I wasn't unloading everything insanely. The sales were happening, they got bought out, and then I just had to relist them again with some other stock that I had, and the prices never changed, and the prices never really suffered. That's good. But if I unloaded all of them all in one go, that's going to cause other people to panic. That's going to cause other people to undercut me, and that causes the prices to suffer. So I've said that individually many times in various different scenarios, but this right here definitely had an impact with the likes of our pirate skins. So that sucks. So what potential optimistic things do we have from now? Well, we have started to notice the likes of deplorables being accepted. And with the very first Rust Store of 2024, we actually got two skins being accepted. That being the large box and the SAR. So Face Punch still likes it. I do expect more skins to be made and accepted. But maybe they're going to all be deplorables and weapons because, you know, we've got all of these other things. We could maybe have a jacket. That could be happening. Who knows? We'll have to see what Mr. Wine on Jay is cooking. But Face Punch still likes this collection. I think it's going to mo mainly consist of potentially deplorables now. Maybe a furnace, a small box, a treasure chest. Wine on Jay, get your ass on it. <laughs> uh, okay, so with the likes of what we have here, I can still remain a fair bit optimistic. Will this still go down a price when we lead into the likes of Ma uh, you know April, May time? I wouldn't be surprised. Will it all recover and rebound and go back up in price again? Yeah, I would expect it. Especially when you compare to what we had with the last summer. So during the summer of 2023, we had ridiculous numbers. Things were very good then. And as I did specify earlier, prices during the summertime were very good as well. So I can remain optimistic. But after what happened with the likes of post-Christmas this year, I just can't help but assume things might be a little bit awkward again in the summer. A little bit of hesitancy, hesitancy isn't necessarily a bad thing, but let's just say we've learned something. We can't always assume post-Christmas is going to be a saving grace, all right? So if we ever see something like this happen again with a brand new budget blackout set, you know, we just literally had legacy Kevlar, <laughs> but maybe you might want to consider selling when they're in the midst of the hype and as we get a brand new continuation being accepted. More specifically, I'm talking about the clothing clothing and armor so maybe during the last core piece that's where you should start making a move and selling your things maybe think yeah maybe that's how we have to approach things from here and now maybe maybe we shall see but uh overall if you did do buy most of these if you did buy most of these and the likes with the likes of a buy order that probably was the smartest play but in the midst of the hype if you bought these and then still sold them for a fair de fairly decent profit props to you but yeah maybe selling during the hype is the smarter approach now especially now that we keep seeing more and more budget blackout options appearing so then maybe that's going to be our approach from here on now yeah so optimistic things to look forward to. I expect more deplorables to be made and we have a brand new deplorable collection being built up within this collection. So keep an eye on all of this. More deplorable skins being accepted will lead to the likes of the garage door, small, uh, the large box and the sheepman door rising up in price. Keep an eye on that. Exactly how the tempered uh, deplorable collection rolled out. But uh, with the likes of the clothing and armour, it's going to probably be dependent now on where the skins end up at. 
Do you reckon quite a lot of the stock will slowly end up on the likes of third party sites all across the website, all across the all the world? <laughs> you know what I'm on about. Um, if they take stock away from the Steam market, the Steam market would have more room to grow. The prices I'm talking about. because So as long as we have quantities like this, well into high hundreds and almost a thousand here, for example, it's not going to rise up in price. And as we look at the likes of this kilt, how on earth can that rise up in price when you've got quantity build-ups like that? These are obstacles. These are resistance. And if this persists to exist, it, we ain't seeing prices improving. Now, I have seen in the past with the likes of Blackout and Whiteout Collection, initially they did have very high quantities as well. But gradually, as time went on, all that stock disappeared onto third-party sites. And wouldn't you, wouldn't you be surprised? Whiteout is now probably one of the most expensive sets, which we can probably show off right now. But yeah, with the amount of sales it had, <laughs> you would have think you'd think, how on earth did that happen? Because remember, these did about seventy five thousand sales. These t the tier three hit at over seventy thousand sales, and yet they're comfortably in the positive. That took time, and when you look at the amount of stock they have as well, it's not too ridiculous anymore. Thank you very much for the follow. I forgot I was on this scene. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Come on, don't be shy. Just jump on stage and say hello. White tail hoodie. Right now, currently has 149 stock in the Steam market. Not too bad. Currently selling for 10 plus dollars. That's pretty sweet. But that took time. And if we can just look at its life, you know, its history. Yeah, it initially spiked in demand with the likes of new core pieces being accepted. But then it went down. And with the likes of the autumn fall seasonal dip, it suffered as well. That's essentially what happened with the likes of Pirate Collection, didn't it? But as time went on, it did gradually go up in price. But that hasn't really had that much competition in terms of other white options. Well, I mean, we did kind of just see potentially a new white collection getting built up now. But point remains, we just have to wait and see what happens with all of this now. And it might take a while. So if, if that's something you don't want to wait for, maybe you want to go throw it away. <laughs> Sell it. It's up to you. But uh, I bought a decent amount for a decent price. I'm going to leave it for now, okay? All right, sounds good. So, yeah, will this potentially go down in price over the course of the next couple of months? That is expected. Will it potentially lead to a very nice summertime? We've got to wait and see. Was it a flop? I'm not going to sit there and say that. I don't think it suffered, especially based on the amount of sales it had. I think it did reasonably A-OK. -okay. But it's other people's reactions and how they, you know, re uh, uh, sold this and whatnot which caused it to have problems with the potential profits. And there's one more thing I have to talk about, the Primitive Collection. That remained very stable. It did a very good job, but there is a potential problem because initially this was the only like full set, the full Primitive set that we had available. And of course, with it being black, a lot of people would appreciate it for nighttime. Well, uh, what do we have over here? Yeah. A new option just appeared. Uh -oh. <laughs> Cursed Collection has appeared. And that's basically got a full set right there. There might be even more. We'll find out. But uh, that might be taking away a lot of the attention from the likes of the Pirate Primitive set. Awkward. But it happens. There's always going to be newer sets that come out that will very likely take attention away from the older skins. So, awkward. Very awkward. I hope that was insightful to a point. Again, technically speaking, it's not the end for the pirate collection but this is the end of me like making videos about it and whatnot so i hope the progression of it all was insightful for you how to you know seeing how it progressed from the summertime during the massive hype it had to now where it's kind of all cooled off and newer options have appeared as i've showcased to you so yeah this this is what happens with the likes of these budget blackout sets budget whiteout sets and budget green, well potential forest raider sets they might start off initially with a lot of hype behind it, but it's not exactly going to last forever. I mean, I could show you the state of the likes of Reptile Hunter. Do you remember how we made a big fuss about this when it first came out, when it got all of its uh, skins being accepted? How is Reptile Hunter currently looking like? At the moment, it's doing better than Pirate Collection, I can give it that, but the prices they're currently at weren't matching up or aren't matching up to what they were back in the summertime. Things were a lot better then. But then again, as I've already mentioned, this post-Christmas wasn't exactly super insane, was it? Regardless, hopefully, as time goes on, it will only improve. But we only can sit here and wait and see that, can't we? So that's it. I hope it was insightful, as I said. Thank you very much for watching. And from here and now, let's see what happens with our skins.
Right. Hey, people. So there's one thing I neglected to mention. Um, in talking about all those newer skins that started to appear, newer skin collections with the likes of Cursed Collection for the Primitives and, of course, with the likes of Legacy Kevlar with all the core pieces and how it's kind of started to impact the likes of Pirate Collection, well, we completely forgot to mention what happened when Pirate Collection first appeared. And so this is where I remind you of the likes of Dragon Rage. So before Pirate even existed, we had the Dragon Rage collection, and it was very affordable. It was the go-to budget blackout option. And you can notably like see something in regards to the values of these skins when Pirate Collection first appeared. So, don't you dare start being naughty, Mr. Warhead. As I scroll down, do you remember when all the Pirate collections first, uh, Collection skins first appeared? <laughs> As we see here, with the likes of this Pirate Road sign kilt, this arrived on the 13th of July, 2023. Just go take a look down memory lane with the likes of this Dragon Rage kilt. And do you notice a certain point where everything kind of went bad for this kilt right here? Yeah, it's because a budget option that was much more affordable and apparently a lot more appealing to people appeared. The Pirate Collection. July rolls in and then... Um, it was at one point selling for about almost $5 in the summer. And then, well, Pirate Collection appears and it goes down, 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 down. It was no longer special in its own right. Pirate Collection took over. So, yeah, that just shows that it can happen even to the likes of our brand new skins, and it's happened many times before. So this is something we have to constantly be aware of. There might be new, flashy, cool, interesting new skins that could be compared and treated as budget options of other notable collections. But if we keep seeing more and more and more of them afterwards, well, your cool looking budget set probably isn't so special anymore. And that's kind of effectively, effectively the moral of the story. Be aware that sometimes these collections aren't always going to have that hype behind it. And then when something else appears that's fairly similar and what it is, that's going to probably take away all the hype from it, and it will suffer, much like what we just saw there with the Dragon Rage kilt. So, yeah, that's it. Sorry if it's a bit of a depressing note, but we've probably understood now that take advantage of when it when it when there's a load of hype behind it, because you can't guarantee things will be definitely 100% better in the future from what we've learned with the issues of post-Christmas 2024. So I hope that was insightful, hope it was helpful, and thank you very much for watching the video.